The terrain of Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region is unfurled like a geographical tapestry sprawling across the heartland of Asia. It is woven around three mountain ranges, cradling two great basins. To the north, the Altai Mountains boast an abundance of gold. To the south, the Kunlun Mountains hoard precious jade. The Tian Shan Mountains, with their countless peaks and vast expanses, partition Xinjiang into two distinct regions. Between these great mountain ranges lie the Tarim Basin and the Junga Basin, both of which hold the keys to life. Its rivers and mountains further enhance the diversity of Xinjiang's character. Here, the summits form extensive mountain ranges, stretching for thousands of kilometers like the meandering of a river. Xinjiang's rivers carry mountainous amounts of sediment, sculpting the landscape and forming multiple oases. These picturesque natural phenomena stretch to the horizons and mirror the desire of the local population for the broader world. Xinjiang's landscape testifies to its people's unwavering spirit, offering a path to fulfill their aspirations wherever they step. The Sandao Heitze are three high-altitude lakes. Water is the lifeblood of the grasslands, and as such, lakes have long been revered as sacred sites. Even before the Grassland Silk Road crisscrossed this region, it was inhabited by ancient nomadic peoples. Stone mounds of various sizes mark the places where these ancient nomads performed their rituals. Under these immense stone piles stand stone pillars resembling hitching posts. These are adorned with carvings combining birds' heads with the bodies of deer. In the eyes of ancient people, the swiftest land-bound creature with soaring avians held deep mystical meaning, symbolizing their dreams of speed and elevation, a connection between nature and the human spirit. The local Kazakh herders still practice a tradition passed down through generations, the art of falconry. It is the living practice of that ancient dream. Originating in the Altai Mountains, the Kargan Hol River sustains the herders on both banks. With winter drawing near, the herders return to their lower settlements and the sheep have likewise been moved to their winter pastures. Dili Hirbad is already 67 years old. During the prolonged winter, the moments he treasures the most are those shared with his little companion. Each age group of falcons has a specific name given by falconers. Dili Hirbad names his five-year-old falcon Hana.
To keep Hana calm and free from disturbance, Dili Hirbad ensures it wears a hood most of the time. Herders are always on the move throughout their lives. What remains constant is the sky above, from which falcons like Hana arrive as their companions. In Sanda Heitzer, falconry is a way for the humans to reach up into the sky. Reaching the age of nine signifies adulthood for a falcon. It must then be released back into the wild. Falconry is a way of life that enables herders to fulfill their aspirations to soar on high. Releasing their falcons reflects their profound respect for nature. A year ago, nearly all the falcons in the village were set free. However, Hana hadn't fully matured and couldn't adapt to the wilderness, and so flew back. Since his children live far away and his wife is reluctant to care for Hana, Dili Hirbad must look after it all by himself. Every weekend, Dili Hirbad's granddaughter, Bana Altenbeck, comes for a visit. Dili Hirbad hopes she can build up a friendship with Hana, to soar through the sky like a falcon and gallop across the grassland like a fine horse is the way of life Dili Hirbad hopes to impart to his granddaughter. Though still young, Bana dreams of becoming a falconer like her grandfather. Deep in the Altai Mountains, the first heavy snowfall of the year blankets the landscape with temperatures dropping to below minus 10 degrees centigrade. This signals the onset of the prime hunting season, recalling lively hunting scenes from the past, shouting humans, neighing horses, soaring falcons, and baying hounds. Not everyone is suited for falconry. It demands great courage and meticulous attention to detail, separating the best of the hunters from the rest. Riding a fine steed with a falcon perched on his arm to hunt is the most exhilarating experience in Dili Hirbad's life. Dili Hirbad is facing some mobility challenges. 
and looking after Hannah has become a problem for him. His granddaughter aspires to be a falconer, but she's still young and can't yet care for the growing Hanna. The immediate concern is deciding whether Hanna should be released back into the wild. Farewells are an inevitable part of life. When time comes to release a falcon, one can only let go. Early in the morning, Dili Hirbad dons his best clothes and heads up the mountain with Hana. Yeah, Everything has its limits. By aligning with the laws of nature, we can grasp the warmth of the human heart and the vastness of the world. Xinjiang's towering mountains symbolize eternal space, while the flowing rivers represent the passage of time. Altai City, named after the Altai Mountains in northern Xinjiang, translates as Golden Mountain. Nevertheless, here it is silver that dominates the landscape. The city is renowned as the snow capital of China and is cloaked in ice and snow for six months of the year. Little more than two kilometers from the city center, the Zhengzhun Mountain Ski Resort attracts skiing enthusiasts from all over the world. Every winter, Chun Jian An from Guangdong brings skiing enthusiasts from the tropical Lingnan region to the slopes of Xinjiang. In the past year alone, his club has taken nearly 5,000 people to Altai. 
，能够见到不同的民族风情，能够见到以前完全不一样的滑雪体验。又来到阿勒泰，真是非常幸运。People often long for what they don't possess, and everyone dreams of living different lives. <笑>对呀 To fully embrace his love of skiing, Chun Jen An made the courageous choice to quit the advertising industry where he had worked for many years and begin a new journey in the realms of snow. In 2019, Chun Jen An's club organized ski trips outside of Guangdong province for over 10,000 customers. 70% of these were in Xinjiang. We were in Japan, in Japan, in Japan, in Japan, in 所以我们说它是干粉雪，用嘴一吹，它就像蒲公英一样。Culture breathes fresh life into tourism, culminating in a truly poetic and captivating experience. In recent years, Altay has attracted a multitude of tourists by hosting diverse cultural events and sports competitions. Over four consecutive years, Chun Jen An has organized skiing trips to Altai, turning Xinjiang's world of snow and ice into his key asset. With an increasing influx of skiers, he intends to leverage Xinjiang's abundant tourism resources by introducing new experiences. This will provide ski enthusiasts not just with the joys of skiing, but also a deeper cultural immersion. 毛皮滑雪板你不要故意摸到这个你 this is a Paleolithic rock painting from over 10,000 years ago. It confirms that our ancestors were skiing and hunting in the Altai Mountains and that this was the birthplace of skiing for mankind. 
在广东，因为地方很小嘛，有点局促，所以大家也很对自己的生活经营的很很细致。在新疆，天地感觉非常非常的是无穷无尽的，爱怎么来就怎么来。我希望更多人来享受这个这么好的雪场，这么好的环境。新疆是全中国六分之一国土面积呢，所以我想来这多的人也不是问题。In the southern city of Guangzhou, the snow-covered Altai seems like a fairyland. The ultimate travel experience is living life in different times and places. Even though it's little Kig's first time strolling through the bustling city streets, her steps are calm and composed. Kig's lack of nerves stems from the presence of her human mom walking by her side. He from the first day of birth, he has never seen his mother. So in his memory, the mother of his child is his mother. Moving from the city to the mountains, thousands of miles away from home, Zhong Hao must confront all the challenges on her own. Half a year ago, Zhong Hao, who came to run a homestay business in Bai Ha Ba village, noticed several lambs in the herd that couldn't find their mothers. Recognizing the loneliness they must feel, she decided to become their surrogate mother. Bai Ha Ba Village is a place that enjoys both pristine natural ecology and an ancient traditional culture. Everything here retains its original appearance from hundreds of years ago. The majority of residents are Mongolian and Kazakh. The lady who roams the village with a lamb by her side soon assimilates into this small community. I started in the travel industry from doing a travel industry. I started from the national to the international. I started to arrange the travel industry. With its proximity to the well-known 5A level tourist attraction Kanas, Bai Ha Ba village has evolved into a global tourist hotspot. Yet once visitors have marveled at Kanas Lake and experienced the rustic charm of Tuva villages in Hermu, what distinctive charm does Bai Ha Ba Village offer to keep them returning for more? Bai Ha Ba's people have left a lot of their own traditions and traditions. I especially want to talk about the story of the Bai Ha Ba people's 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 Winter is approaching and most homestays in Bai Ha Ba village are preparing to close for the season. However, Zheng Hao intends to keep her business open, necessitating some special arrangements. I understand the population of the country to have the people in the country. So I want to see my house. I want to see the people in Bai Ha Ba. Kutax is one of the first villagers that Zheng Hao worked with. He is the village's skiing expert and is good at crafting fur skis. Hailing from a lineage of herders, he never envisaged that his inherited skills could find relevance in the modern tourist industry. Zheng 
年二十多万吧。哇塞，十块。Helped by Zheng Hao's suggestions, her landlords started applying their unique skills to the tourist business. Today marks a significant day, the commencement of the winter butchering. In a ritual to wish for the well-being of their livestock, the herders cut a tuft of hair from the cow's tail. The Altai Mountains experience long winters, and the herdsmen depend on meat for sustenance. They butcher the livestock both to celebrate the harvest and to prepare for the cold days ahead. In this place, every species lives out its own fate. Men nurture and rely on their livestock for their survival. A day with wine and meat marks a celebration. Zheng Hao has organized a feast to express her gratitude to her landlords and honor their expertise. It's also a prelude to welcoming the first wave of winter tourists. Ichenghu Within the confines of a single dwelling, homestay entrepreneurs unite the global community in a remarkable way. They discover tranquility for themselves while caring for fellow travelers. Home is where the heart is, is a universal sentiment, transcending geographical origins. In the bustling metropolis, Zheng Hao once felt a stranger. Now she has discovered her haven in this serene village while imparting the comforting embrace of home to all who pass through. Tahacheng Prefecture nestles in the western Zhongga Basin, south of the Altai Mountains. Here, 29 ethnic groups coexist, making it the region with the highest percentage of inter-ethnic marriages in Xinjiang. Tahacheng is known for its high-quality wheat, which is finely milled into flour and skillfully transformed into a delectable array of ethnic delicacies. Irrespective of the culinary style, sharing a meal with loved ones is a universal source of joy. 
food, in its essence, acts as the most profound catalyst for human connection. Early in the morning, Halida Ilahun is already busy around the market. She wants to invite her neighbors to share a meal at her home to thank them for their care during the years her daughter studied in Beijing. She holds the steadfast belief that kindness begets kindness. Jinan after residing with the family for seven years, Jun Jun resolved to return to his hometown in search of his biological parents. Alida Ila Hun's father displayed remarkable generosity by providing nearly all of the family's savings to support his adopted son, a young man not bound by blood ties. 但是我爸爸就把他送到了乌鲁木齐火车站,买了几套新衣服,买了几套新衣服,买了几套新衣服,买了几套新衣服,买了几套新衣服,买了几套新衣服,买了几套新衣服,买了几套新衣服,买了几
Each distinct life form fulfills its unique cycle of existence. Here, lives commence and conclude, ultimately merging with the mountains in accordance with the law of nature. When observed from the sky, the Altai Mountains do not seem so distant. Yeah. 